Hey, Brian Lacey for Sports Central. It's the first leg of the Triple Crown of Barbecue in Polk County. It must mean the 27th annual Pig Fest in Lakeland. The sights, the sounds, the smells, the taste. Can you taste on TV? We're going to try. Check it out. A man that truly needs no introduction, but if you don't know him, he is a legend in the city of Lakeland. His name is Bill Tinsley. Man, what a party you have got going on here. This thing is incredible, isn't it? Yeah, I, I am digging. How did this all start 27 years ago? You know, it's it's amazing. Uh, Frank Buzanka and, uh, and Judge Holmes were two guys that had gone on vacation with their family, came back through Georgia and stopped at a barbecue. Uh, they came to me in the Parks and Rec department and said, Bill, we need to do that in Lakeland. It's an incredible, fun, family-filled event. And so uh, we put together a committee and jumped on the bandwagon and started the Florida State Championship Barbecue 27 years ago at Tigertown. Uh, it was an amazing first year. We had 30 teams, didn't make any money for the charities hardly. <laughs> you know, it was just a, it was a, a three guys just fumbling their way through. But uh, Brian, we, we really have always, we set for ourselves some pretty lofty goals, and uh, we've always looked at this as a three-legged stool. We want to promote barbecue because we think it's an incredible uh, part of family life and can be, and, and we just want to teach people how to cook it, we want to teach them how to buy it, where to buy it, and how to, how to make it happen. The second leg is we want to do something for the community and give back, and that's the charity leg. And that's, that's been a very important part for us, and we couldn't do this event without all those, those people that do it. But as we grew, those, those numbers and needs to support the event also grew. And the, the, the third leg of the event is probably um, the leadership development. And the, the young leaders that have come in over the years and are now running the event, as I'm just sitting around, just like you, just enjoying a little barbecue. And yeah. If you haven't noticed, Bill is on the, the T to T, Tuesday and Thursdays, 10 to 2. <laughs> My new schedule, everybody's a little bit jealous of it, but it's, uh, it's pretty wonderful. Yeah. So listen, man, we know the leadership got you here, but uh, there are people behind the scenes, the volunteers, and of course your sponsors that uh, help put on an incredible, incredible event like this. Talk to me a little bit about them. That's so... Uh, uh, so phenomenal, uh, Publix, and, and 28 years ago, you could buy a couple of different, you had two choices, uh, Kraft's barbecue sauce or something else. Now you go into a Publix, you have barbecue centers in public supermarkets. Uh, we've been part of that growth because as, as they learned very early on, people are hungry, they just don't know how necessarily to cook that award-winning barbecue, and this event has helped promote that. They've given back because um, not just Publix that's hung with us all these years, but they bring with them Kingsford charcoal. Uh, they bring bring with us um, Kindred seasonings, McCormick seasonings, yep. uh, all of the all of the barbecue sauces. And you have a hundred choices in Publix now of flavors and so forth for your meats. And certainly the meat uh, uh, producers themselves, Smithfield Meats and, and the other uh, Purdue Chicken, those are all featured meats in, in competition and at this event. And so I'll be, there's a follow up. I'm going to go try what I tried this weekend. Exactly. The, because the cooks who've been part of this magic, they come from all over the country. And the amazing thing about it, if you watch any of the competitions on TV, they're here. They're here. The, the best competitors in the country are in Lakeland, Florida every year. And some of them been here eight and 10 years in a row. Uh, some of our homegrown guys like Whiskey Bent Barbecue. Yep. Whiskey, well, you know, uh, he learned to cook in this event. Yep. And, or enhanced his cooking, and he got on the competitive trail and became an international star in the barbecue community. Um, and, and let's face it, um, those opportunities are great, but my heart is in this kids' Q contest oh, we yeah. have in the morning. That's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun, 30 to 50 kids. Um, in addition to that, we have judging school. 
Uh, no. Many of the sort. I you, need. I need some of that in my life. You got to. Can, can, can you hook me up? It's a, yeah, I can. And it's a t for that four-hour program or class to get certified. You do nothing but eat and yeah. sample and learn the correct taste and flavor and texture, the things that the, that you're actually going to judge, because it's all blind judging. Yeah. And it's all overseen by the Kansas City Barbecue Society. Um, Carolyn Wells, who started that organization 85 years ago. Uh, was very is, is in the Hall of Fame everywhere. Yeah. Everybody's Barbecue Hall of Fame. Uh, but she's here in Lakeland because everybody in Kansas City in January wishes they were here in Lakeland. Twenty seventh annual Pig Fest here in Lakeland, and joining us is Nick Nicholas. How you doing? I'm doing great and having fun. You can see behind me all the kids are out for our, our annual kids queue that started in 2003. is sponsored by Applegate Farms and Publix, and Publix has supplied the meats and the grills to the teams. They get, actually get to take the grills home with them, which is a cool thing. Uh, the kids are aged in the, from seven to 15 years old split up in two categories. Um, th they have so much fun doing it. And, and the best part is the last turn-in's coming up chicken and they actually parade their meats down to the judge and present it. So that's a good thing to see when you're uh, here today. And one of the things that you said, that this is one of the oldest kids' Q competitions? Yes, it is. Um, it's one of the oldest and one of the largest. Um, and we, like I said, we've been doing this since 2003. There's a number of them across the country. So if you have kids, it's a fun way to get them started. They don't have to be a pro or anything. They just can have fun. And then you could be their, their coaching staff. But remember, you're coaching, they're cooking. Yeah, there's a lot of great parents out here, a lot of great direction. Uh, I see our buddy, our buddies uh, throughout the crowd, uh, 97 uh, PCV there in here. Yeah. Everybody's walking around looking for a piece of the steak that didn't yeah. make it into the competition. You know, me and my cameraman may be in need of a little bit of food. Is that something you can help us out I, with? I think we can work that out. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Nick, talk to me a little bit about what it takes to put on an event like this. You've been here since uh, since day one. Yeah, so so basically uh, we're a uh, nonprofit no paid staff okay and we've been doing this 28 years it's 27th annual but with COVID year canceled it um, and we it, you basically build a city for 48 72 hours so just think of all the infrastructure and all the services you have to provide so safety security all that uh, uh, we're a little different a lot of events we don't we have people selling food but it's mainly the competition teams and they don't normally sell like a vendor would they sell at this event and all the money goes to charity. We're a nonprofit. We have seven nonprofit organizations that get the benefit of it. We've given millions of dollars back to the community, to children related type um, nonprofits, and um, they are a labor force in the trenches of Pig Fest, the 27th annual, a legend in the barbecue community. He is Rob Bagby and uh, working hard on this, aren't you? Yes, sir, getting some chicken ready. Yeah, so uh, a, 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 a man that's won as many titles as you, one would think that, you know, that, that there's a method to the madness. Uh, how long does all this take? There is. Um, well, the chicken itself probably takes uh, close to an hour to get it just right. Now talk to me a little bit about the event. Uh, how long have you been a part of this? And, and within the community, you've been to many of these. And, uh, and this is the first leg of the Triple Crown here in Polk County. So a little bit of extra cash for those uh, involved. Right, there sure is. Uh, I've been coming to this contest for 20 years. Actually, today is my 20th year anniversary of um, competing. So the very first contest I did was Lakeland Pig Fest. Well, Rob, we're going to let you get back to work, and uh, good luck in the competition. And uh, when things finish up, can, can Jeff and I kind of, you know, come back? and um, We could probably work something out. Found a little downtime at Pig Fest, the 27th annual, the first leg of the Triple Crown of Barbecue. His name, if you don't know it, Jim Elser. 
He's a Buckeye. He's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. tough to admit that, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but honestly, you're, you're, what would you say, about 15th year this of doing is, this? This is my 15 year, started off 15 year. I started right here, you know, 15 years ago, and then um, haven't stopped since. Yeah, tell me a little bit about, uh, uh, about the competition itself this year. Uh, the competition is, uh, you know, Lakeland Pig Fest is always, you know, uh, one of the, the, the top, I would say the top uh, contest in the southeast bringing in top teams across the country you know we're we're in the winter time now it's nice down here so you know a lot of these guys from the midwest or up east you know they come down here and get 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 a little sunshine and some warmth and you know make our lives a little difficult to try to beat them in our I, backyard i managed to see a, a few canadians that were very happy about today's weather <laughs> yes yeah it's been nice yeah last week we competed up in in uh, north florida and it was cold and it's night and day different so i'm i it can't get hot enough for me. I, I like, you know, originally from Ohio, I don't miss that cold. So that's the reason I moved no, down here. No <laughs> way. So what are you what are you competing in today? I'm, we're competing in uh, chicken, uh, pork ribs, uh, pork butt, and beef brisket. Yeah, so uh, Jeff and I are working hard uh, behind the scenes. Uh, can we come by and get a little, you know, a yeah. little flavor? Sure, yeah, yeah. You come back anytime, we'll give, you know, we'll give you a little nugget here. We might, we might give you a lot of it because once we turn it in, we don't eat it. So we've been doing this, you know, too long and it, we just don't eat stuff. You know, the boys back in the studio, Mark Jackson is going to be asking me, uh, where's the barbecue that you were supposed to bring back for us? And he was like, right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jim, good luck with the All competition. Right, thank you. Nice seeing you. We're one of them tourist destinations, and of course, you know, our leadership at Visit Central Florida realizes that, that you know, we have, we have the facilities and we have the places people want to visit, but then suddenly they tapped into this, this culinary skill and uh, the Triple Crown of Barbecue bringing more people to the county. There's no question, and that's been recognized by, by the Sports Marketing and Tourist Development Council. They become one of our primary sponsors in this event. Um, and the other barbecue events that are in, in the area with this Triple Crown program that's coming out, that's even going to challenge and develop more local cooks in particular to get engaged and involved. It's, it's a little known fact, but since our second year, we've been the largest backyard division in all of KCBS. We have the largest backyard team. Uh, you know, most of these pro cooks that represent about 50% of what here is what your large events are. Yeah. Here, we, prom we have intentionally promoted because we one of those legs on that stool is clearly promoting barbecue. And that means locally. Yep. You know, I'm not going to Kansas City and eat barbecue. I'm going to eat it here, but exactly. I want to eat good barbecue. <laughs> exactly. Well, listen, man, I cannot believe what this has turned into over the years. And, and you have been an integral part of it and, and, and your volunteers and, and the rest of your leadership, man outstanding event well thank you brian but I, I i take very little credit i just haven't been on a good ride with a lot of good people for a long time and let me tell you if you're not volunteering enough you're making a mistake because that's where wholesome life comes from i would love it Hey, that's going to put the wraps on the 27th annual Pig Fest from here in Lakeland. Going to send it to you boys back in the studio. Got a little barbecue for you, but as I shake the eight ball app on my phone, yeah, chances are highly unlikely you're going to get it. <laughs>